Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 30th question from CBSE class 10, 2023-24, additional practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041, section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question is from the introduction to trigonometry chapter. Shown below is a semicircle of radius 1 unit. Make necessary constructions and show that tan theta over 2 is equal to sin theta over 1 plus cos theta. So here we can see that a semicircle has been given and it is given that radius is 1 unit. So we can see that there is a right angle triangle within the given semicircle. So I'm going to highlight this triangle and label it. So here you can see that I have highlighted the right angle triangle and given it a name as ABO where theta is an angle at point O and OC is the radius of the given semicircle. So OC is also the radius and OB is also the radius because it is drawn from the center of the circle. So if OC is one unit we have OB also as one unit. Next if you look at the given expression we have sine theta and cos theta where tan is given as theta over 2. So let us focus on sine theta and cos theta in this given triangle. So let us start with sine theta first. Sine of any angle theta is given as the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So this is how we represent the sine trigonometric ratio. Now since theta is our angle of concern, the side opposite to the angle theta is AB. So let us consider this as opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degree will be always the hypotenuse. So OB becomes the hypotenuse. And the remaining side in this right angle triangle which is OA default becomes the adjacent side. So let me write here ADJ which represents adjacent. So sin theta is given as opposite over hypotenuse. So let us write it in terms of the sides of a triangle now. Opposite is AB. So let us write here AB divided by hypotenuse which is OB. So this is nothing but our sin theta. So here let us multiply OB with sin theta. So we get AB is equal to OB times sin theta. Now OB is the radius of the given semicircle. So here OB we had got it as one unit. Let us substitute one in place of OB. So 1 times sin theta. So AB is nothing but equal to sin theta. So let us write here. And let us highlight this because this is going to be important in solving further this example. So AB is sin theta. Now since we need cos theta as well in this equation. So let us find out for cos theta now. We know that the trigonometric ratio cos theta is represented as adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. Now here in this triangle cos theta is equal to adjacent is OA divided by hypotenuse which is OB. Now again let us multiply OB with cos theta. So we have OA is equal to OB multiplied with cos theta. And again OB is 1 unit as we got so OA will be equal to 1 times cos theta or just cos theta. So this is also going to be important for us so let us highlight this OA and keep it. Now they have asked us to make necessary constructions and show that tan theta over 2 is equal to sin theta over 1 plus cos theta. So let us make a small construction over here that is I am going to join the point B with point C this way. So I have just drawn a line between point B and C. Now let us consider the straight line AOC. Now these points are lying on the diameter of a circle. So if this is a straight line, this entire angle at the center of the circle is going to be 180 degree because the angle of a straight line is 180. Now out of 180 degree at the center, theta is being taken by the angle AOB. So let us find out this remaining small angle. So here if theta is taken by AOB, the remaining angle is going to be 180 minus theta. 
So here if theta was 30 degree, here it was going to be 180 minus 30 which is 150 degree. Now once we got this angle, we know that the side OB was 1 unit and the side OC is also 1 unit. So if two sides are same, then the opposite angles are going to be same. So triangle BOC becomes an isosceles triangle now. So if we consider angle OBC as X, then we have to consider angle OCB also as X. So using the angle sum property of the triangle, let us find out what is the value of X in triangle OBC. So here we have angle O plus angle B plus angle C. So they will all add up to 180 degree. Angle sum property of the triangle. Now angle O we have here as 180 minus theta. So let me substitute here 180 minus theta plus angle B we have taken as X plus angle C we have taken as X is equal to 180 degree. Now we have to find out X. So we will take everything else on the other side of the equal to sign and add up the like terms. So here we will add up X and X. So we get it as 2X is equal to. Now 180 stays the same. And this side 180 goes on the other side and it becomes negative 180. And negative theta goes on the other side of the equal to sign and becomes positive theta. So here 180 minus 180 you get it as 0 and 2x becomes equal to theta or x can be written as equal to theta over 2. That is by using angle sum property of the triangle. We have found the value of x. So let us substitute over here. So here in place of x I have written theta over 2 and theta over 2. Now we have to find out tan theta over 2. For that we need to consider the right angle triangle. Now I am going to consider the right angle triangle ABC. Now in this right angle triangle BAC, we have to find out tan theta over 2. Now theta over 2 is over here. So the side opposite to theta over 2 is going to be the side AB. So let us write here opposite. The side opposite to angle 90 degree will be BC. So let us write here hypotenuse which is opposite to 90 degree and the remaining side AC is going to be the default adjacent side and the trigonometric ratio tan is given as tan theta over 2 is equal to this is always represented by the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now opposite to angle theta over 2 we have got the side AB. So let us write over here this is equal to AB and the adjacent side in this right angle triangle BAC we have got is side AC. So let us write over here. So this is your tan theta over 2. Now here we have to make use of the previous values of AB and OA which we had got. Now AB we had got it as sin theta so let us substitute here in place of AB it is sin theta over AC is made up of two sides that is OA and OC. So let me write here OA plus OC and here let us write sin theta over OA we have got it over here as cos theta so let us substitute here cos theta plus OC is going to be one unit as it is the radius of the given semicircle. So let us substitute here one. So this is going to be your tan theta over two. So either you write it as sin theta over cos theta plus one or you can write it as sin theta over one plus cos theta. Both are going to be same. So we have shown that tan theta over two is equal to sin theta over one plus cos theta. So to solve this, we have made use of the right angle triangle BAO first. So we got the value of AB in terms of sin theta and OA in terms of cos theta. Then by doing a small construction, we got theta over 2. And then we made use of tan theta over 2 to get the given equation. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. 
If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.